Hello everyone! Today we are going to learn about Lonnie Johnson written by Lucia Ratmar. Lonnie Johnson, NASA scientist and inventor of the Super Soaker. So let's read. Get wet. Whoosh! A rush of water streams from a super soaker. Playing with this water toy is a great way to stay cool on hot summer days. Lonnie Johnson has invented many things. One of his most popular inventions is the super soaker, water gun. Some of his inventions help solve complex problems. Some are fun. The super, the super soaker can spray water to dozens of feet. Early life. Lonnie Johnson was born on October 6, 1949 in Mobile, Alabama. As a young boy, Lonnie watched his father fix things around the house. Lonnie like to repair things too. When he was 13, Lonnie attacked a lawnmower and engine to his go-kart racer. He raced it along the road until a police officer stopped him. Lonnie's father David worked as a driver at an Air Force base. His mother Arlene was a nurse, nurse's aide. She also worked in a laundry business. Lonnie's parents picked cotton at a nearby farm to earn extra money. Young inventor. When he was young, Lonnie liked to take his toys apart and put them back together. Lonnie took apart his sister's doll. He wanted to see how the doll's eyes opened and closed. As far back as I can remember, I was interested in devices and how they worked. Lonnie Johnson Lonnie's parents supported his interest. One day, Lonnie tried to make rocket fuel on top of the stove. It started a fire, but Lonnie's parents were, were not angry. Instead, they bought him a hot plate plate and told him to do his, his experiments outside. One of Lonnie's role models was George Washington Carver, a black inventor. Life in Alabama. Lonnie attended Williamson High School in Mobile. It was an all-black school. In the 1960s, many schools in Alabama were segregated. Black students couldn't go to the same schools as white students. Lonnie's awarding winning, winning robot was named the Linux. In 1968, Lonnie went to a science fair at the University of Alabama. He made a robot for the competition. Lonnie won first place. Lonnie's friends call him the professor. College and beyond. Lonnie's love of inventions continued after high school. He received a scholarship to attend Tuskegee University in Alabama. There he earned a bachelor degree in mechanical engineering. Then he earned a master's degree in nuclear engineering. Years after he graduated, Tuskegee University gave Johnson an honorary doctorate in science. Tuskegee University was founded as a school for black students in 1881. After college, 
Jonathan worked as a research engineer at, at the US Department of Energy Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Then he joined the USA Air Force. The NASA scientist. In 1979, Johnson began working at NASA. He was a nuclear engineer in the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He worked on many NASA space missions, including the spacecraft Galileo's mission to Jupiter. He also took part in the space probe Cassini's mission to Saturn. NASA stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Johnson won many awards for his work at NASA. Fun invention. Johnson worked at NASA during the day. In his free time, he continued to make his own inventions. One day in 1982, Johnson was at home working on his new invention. He was trying to make a better water pump. Johnson made a higher power no nozzle for the pump and attached it to his bathroom sink. When he pressed the nozzle's lever, a strong stream of water shot across the bathroom. This gave Johnson the idea for the super soaker. How a super soaker works? Water is stored into the reservoir. The pumping action builds up air pressure. When the trigger is pressed, it forces out a high power steam of water. The, the water through the nozzle. I thought if I had a toy water gun that was really high press, pressure and something that a small kid would operate, it would really be neat. Lonnie Johnson Making it better Johnson called his toy power drencher. Later he changed its name to the Super Soaker. He also improved the, the design. The first invention of the Super Soaker had water inside the gun. Later John Johnson moved the water to a bottle on the top of a toy. Johnson wanted to manufacture the water gun himself, but it was too expensive. In 1989, he sold the toy to the Laumani Corporation. The company later became Hasbro. In 1991, the Super Soaker was the best selling toy in the, in the United States. Hasbro is the one of the largest toy companies in the world. Earth Friendly Inventions. The Super Soaker became one of the most successful toys of all time. Over the years, the toy has earned $1 billion in sales. Johnson knew the money he made from the Super Soaker to work on other projects. He wanted to invent items that help the environment. Johnson started the Johnson Research and development company in Atlanta, Georgia. The company makes rechargeable batteries. It produces engine and clean energy projects. Coal, oil and gas are called fossil fuels. Fossil fuels can harm the environment and they are running out. Johnson knows it is important to use new sources of energy. Some of Johnson's inventions use solar power, power. Solar power comes from the sun. It can provide 
electricity to homes and other buildings. One of Johnson's invention is called the Johnson Thermal Electrochemical Converter, JTEC. This can change heat from the sun into electricity. The JTEC does not cost much. Johnson hopes that it will be used in homes and power plants. One day it could even power a spacecraft. The magazine Popular Mechanics named the JTEC one of the top 10 new world changing innovations in 2008. So many inventions. Johnson continues to invent new product, products. One of the inventions curls and dries hair. He also created a portable multimedia projector. The, the projector has a DVD player, a, ch a channel tuner and a remote control receiver. Johnson continues to make toys. He has made many new versions of the Super Soaker. He also invented foam darts for the Nerf brand at Hasbro. Nerf stands for non-expanding recreational foam. Later years. Johnson is always trying new things. Some ideas work and others don't. He has to use his imagination when inventions fail. He tries over and over until the product works. Johnson applies for a patent for each one of his inventions. A patent is a document that proves the ideas belong to him. Getting a patent can take a long time. But it is important to keep others from taking credit and getting money for his inventions. Johnson has more than 100 patents. Community Man Johnson has four children. Today he lives in Georgia with his wife. Linda Moore. Johnson is active in his community. He is one of the leaders of Georgia Alliance for Children. This group protects the rights for children in the state. Johnson is also a member of the 100 Black Men of Atlanta. This group supports young black students and helps pay for, the, for their education. The mayor of Marietta, Georgia declared February 25, 1994 Lonnie G. Johnson Day. Johnson has been very successful. He has earned a lot of money but Johnson wants to keep working. He wants to encourage young inventors and he knows there is still more invention to create. In 2011, Johnson was named to the State of Alabama Engineering Hall of Fame. I feel like I have been blessed with a talent or skill and what motivates me is to try to have a positive impact on the environment and people's quality of life. Lonnie Johnson Did, did you learn something new today? Please like and subscribe. Bye!